Okay, this might be a little grainy. I'm shooting it on a tablet, but this will give you some idea. Went to Costco about a little over two years ago. Two year and three and a half months almost, something like that. So, got this cheap HP laptop for 400 bucks. Not bad for 400 <laughs> plus tax. i3, 8 gigabyte of RAM, all the... I have a Mac Mini also, M1, <laughs> and an old 2009 that I was using for my father before he passed away. <laughs> um, anyway, so I don't know why it says expiring soon, because I went to updates and it says everything is updated. So, anyhow, I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to go to, well, first I'm going to... Open up my LG Velvet. I downloaded better battery stats and it's not working. Don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong, so. So. I'm gonna go to my computer first. If I use a C or an A cable, it doesn't matter. Plug her back in. Hmm, it's not detecting the phone. What the hell? Let me try my C cable. It was working yesterday. I don't know what's going on now. Okay, um, same thing, so let me go into, um, settings on my LG Velvet, and go to system, developer options, USB debugging off, USB debugging on, allow debugging. Let's go to the control panel. not showing my velvet. I don't know what the hell. All right, so under, um, let's see. Oh, here we go. All right, so under developer options, I set it to MIDI device. Before it was, this is pretty clear for a tablet. Um, so let me set it back to file transfer. I had it on MIDI, it was working. Somebody suggested make it MIDI. MIDI and, so let's try that again. So, always, use always, there we go, now Velvet is popping up. Alright, I don't know why under MIDI it wasn't working, but anyway, this is it, it's working now, so we go to CMD, we go to Command Prompt, I type in, I go to Notepad and I um, open the file that I made with all the lines that I'm supposed to copy for permission -y sake. Nobody's replying to any of my threads, so guy on XTA forums this was kind enough to reply and said 
that you, um, let's see, while, while in the command prompt screen type ADB devices, which is what I did in my Android central link, it says I have done that ADB, D-E-V-I-C-E-S. All right, so let's see if I can uh, get a good, uh, let me prop this up here. Here we go, focus. There we go. And I'm going to hit enter. Let's get the focus back on. Yeah, Daemon not running. TCP list of devices attached. But it doesn't actually show devices attached. Weird. And I'm going to type in the command that I was supposed to type in. Hit enter. And it says adb.exe, no devices found. Now it's showing in my PC. Internal and SD. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it has to be drivers installed because it's showing there. I go to the de 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 device manager and portable devices. Velvet shows there under portable devices. Yeah, it's there. So it is definitely there. When I did it as MIDI device, it was showing earlier. I don't know why, but I think maybe on the Mac. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's try again. Open up my, my computer. Select USB configuration. Under developer options. Say MIDI. Always. Yeah, it disappears when I say MIDI. Well, at least on here it does. So we'll go back to file transfer, always, yeah, and now it shows up, so that's the issue. So now what we're going to do is close, shut down, and now we're going to plug into my mini. I'm going to go to the back of my mini and I am going to plug it in, plug it in. And I am plugged in now. Android file transfer program shows the thing, so it's showing all my files. So I'm going to close this XDA forum thingy. Going to quit file transfer. Going to open up terminal. Open up notes. Highlight the line. Say copy. Say command, shift, and period at the same time. Uh, one second. So when you say command shift and period, it shows you all your, all the um, files, all the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, like hidden files. And then I went to, because I did eco path and I couldn't find the path. So I went to, so I went here and I, um, in the hidden files, I mean there was like a bunch of lines. So this is one of the paths. Went to local, created a bin folder. Wait, let's do that again. So, uh, went to user, and then 
local, then created a bin folder, put all my ADB files in here that I downloaded. So now I go to ADB, D -E -V -I -C -E -S. I go to Mac and I type in ADB devices, daemon running, blah, blah, blah. This actually shows my LG. I think it was only working in MIDI, but it's working as file transfer and not MIDI and developer options, so close that out. Now we're going to paste that command that I was supposed to. And battery stats, see it says error no permission specified. So that's what that is. Now if I copy this line, the last line that I was supposed to copy, and I try that again, it just it doesn't give any error message. So now I go to better battery stats. Oh, this time it's saying private APIs granted. It wasn't saying that before. Yeah, but it was still the other one. The other two are still saying no permissions specified. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let's try all three of these. So. So I, I granted one of them. I don't know what, what the hell is the other one. Not. No permission specified. Stats. I, there's no C at the end. And. All right, so let's see if we can zoom in here. Yeah, error, no permission specified, see? So one thing was granted, but the others are not. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if you have any idea, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks.